Alrighty guys and welcome back to the fifth episode of our universe mode. We are here tonight on SmackDown starting off with the Dudley boys. It will be one-on-one -on -one competition for them tonight. Bubble Ray will be taking on one half of our tag team champions. And the man he is facing is none other than Eddie Guerrero. With, of course, Rey Mysterio, his tag team partner on his side. Eddie Guerrero will be fighting Bubble Ray here tonight to start off our SmackDown. Let's get this matchup started. Eddie Guerrero, Bubba Ray with their respective partners. God, that massive clothesline with their respective partners on their side. That was a huge clothesline. As Bubba Ray tries to go for a punch, completely misses. Eddie Guerrero with the Exiguri. Taking down Bubba Ray, going for punches, trying to keep him down. As Eddie Guerrero goes for the different kicks. God, tried to take him down, couldn't keep him down. Bubble Ray, God, okay, hold on. I'm liking these different animations. As Eddie Guerrero with the reversal. Going for a kick, missing. And Bubble Ray throwing him outside the ring. Landing hard and, oh, following behind. But it doesn't matter. Eddie Guerrero with the toss. And going for a, I don't know what he was going for. He slapped him in the mouth, I think. Trying to get Bubble Ray to follow him inside the ring as he bounces off the ropes. Missing Bubba. Throws him into the rope. Or no, into the turnbuckle. Thought he was throwing him into the ropes. But massive punches to Eddie. Throws a punch back of his own. More combos. Eddie now. Is he going for here? Hurricane Rana going for the quick pin and a kick out at one. We have a huge, huge main event. Stemming from last week. RVD and Santos Escobar will be teaming up against Randy Orton and a mystery partner. Randy did not let anybody know who his partner is going to be. But he said, just know it is going to be something big. So I cannot wait for our main event. As we get back into this matchup, Bubba Ray going for big hits and punches and a headbutt. Taking down Eddie Guerrero. Referee running around like a crazy guy. Eddie Guerrero with the reversal. Exiguri taking down Bubba Ray. Going for a drop kick, trying to keep him down. Another drop kick, he won't go down. Going for a clothesline, and Bubba Ray reverses, and another clothesline by Bubba. Dropping the elbow on Eddie Guerrero. Eddie having a hard time getting Bubba Ray down. Bubba Ray is not a small guy. As he stomps Eddie on the back, and now working on the arm, stomping the arm. And Eddie back up to his feet. Devon getting involved, grabbing the leg. Rey Mysterio now, what's Rey doing? Bubba going for Rey, missing. And wait a minute. Is the ref tossing? Wait, okay. Oh, did he toss them both? I thought he only tossed Devon. Wait, is it only Devon or is it Rey too? I can't tell. I think they both might have just got tossed out of the ring. Rey didn't really do anything. But uh, yeah, Rey got tossed too. Bubba Rey now. Going for a punch, missing Eddie. Eddie Guerrero now, sliding under. Another Hurricane Rana. Taking Bubba Ray down and rolling out of the ring, trying to gain some momentum, trying to move away and get some space. And Eddie now, what's he going for? Oh my God, what a massive DDT. Holy crap, I, I love that animation in the game. It looks so good. Massive DDT taking down Bubba Ray and now going for the pin. Will this be it? One. Kick out at one. Eddie Guerrero now. What is he thinking? Throwing Bubba into the corner. Taking him up top. Is he going for a Hurricane Rana? Hurricane Rana off the top rope. And now going for the pin yet again. Referee, hurry up. One. And a kick out at one again. The crowd loving it, though, that this is awesome chance to start off SmackDown. What a great way to start it off. Both kicks and another Hurricane Rana takes Bubble Ray down. Eddie Guerrero just throwing everything he can. DDT. Will that be it? I can't tell if the leg's under the rope. I don't think so. Bubble Ray does kick out. It looked like the leg was pretty close to being under the rope. 
Eddie Guerrero. Tossing Bubba, jumping over, ducking down. And oh, a nice spinning heel kick. Eddie now. What's he going for? Calling for him to get up in a DDT off the middle ropes. Eddie Guerrero throwing whatever he can, going up top, running around. And a kick out yet again by Bubba Ray. Eddie now going for punches and chops in the corner. Big chops. Bubba reversing them though. Huge punches. And wait a minute. Dropping. Eddie Guerrero down. Referee literally in his own world right now. Kick out at two by Eddie. Referee, you got to do better than that. That could have been a three count. Bubba Ray going for the cutter. Missing. Eddie Guerrero missing. Bubba yelling at him. Eddie Guerrero taking him down. Bubba was yelling at him. Too distracted. And a big frog splash. Frog splash. One. Two. And a kick out at two. Bubba Ray right back up to his feet. Referee almost getting in the way and clubbing him down yet again. The crowd's loving it. Fight forever chance. The crowd's loving it. Eddie Guerrero with the roll up. One. Kick out at one. Eddie Guerrero, what is he thinking? Going off the ropes and a massive drop kick taking Bubba Ray down. Eddie, huge kick and another DDT. What do these men have left? An amazing way to start the, the show off. Eddie Guerrero going for a clothesline connecting. And Eddie now off the second rope with the crossbody. And this could be it going for the pin. Two. Kick out at two. Bubba Ray in trouble. Eddie Guerrero with the... St oh my God, I don't know if that was a legal move, but raking his foot on the face. And wait a minute, a roll up by Bubba. A roll up by Bubba. Two. And a kick out at two. Almost getting the three right there. Back in control and an elbow to the gut to Eddie Guerrero. Bubba Ray now, big boot, taking him down, not letting him get back up to his feet, keeping him on the ground. That's probably the best thing you're going to do. Eddie is so quick, you want to have him on the ground as much as you can, and that is exactly what Bubba is doing. Stomp to the gut. Bubba Ray just working on the torso and gut. Another elbow drop. Straight into the chest, and now going up top. Bubba Ray does not go up top often. And going for a massive senton. Into the pin. Will that be it? One, two, kick out at two. Both men throwing whatever it is that they have at each other. But nothing has been enough so far. As Bubba Ray goes for punches, Eddie back up to his feet. Not for long, though. He gets chopped right back down. And what is Bubba Ray thinking? With the Bubba Cutter. Bubba connects with the Bubba Cutter, and that has got to be it. Two. And a kick out at two. Bubba Ray thought he had it there. Huge punches. The last one taking Eddie down. Third punch knocking him down. Eddie is in trouble here. Bubba Ray picking him up. Eddie Guerrero with the reversal, though, snapping the leg. Eddie Guerrero. What is he going for? Huge clotheslines. And a drop kick taking. Bubba Ray down. Eddie back in control. What is Eddie thinking? Is he going for three amigos? The question is, can he pick him up? Three amigos, but wait. Bubba reversing. And clotheslining him on the back of the head. Thought he was going to get three amigos. Did not work. As Bubba... I think he was going for a signature yet again. Will not connect. Eddie Guerrero tossing him. Huge hit. And a Hurricane Rana taking him down. Bubba Ray rolling out of the ring, though. And Eddie Guerrero does not care. What is he going for? Frog splash out of the ring. On the outside of the ring. 
Whoa. I honestly did not think he would reach. The question is, is that it? Wally was knocked out outside of the ring. One, two, and three. Eddie Guerrero picks up the victory over Bubba Ray. What a way to start SmackDown off. What an amazing match. Sadly, Eddie does not have his tag team partner out here to celebrate. Although, I don't know why the ref threw Ray out. Ray did not do anything. If anything, Devon should have got thrown out. But I understand it as Eddie celebrates here over a big victory over one half of the Dudley boys. Our next matchup of the night. We have up-and-comer Roxanne Perez. New to Universe mode, new to the game. And wait a minute, Sasha Banks. Why is Sasha Banks with Roxanne? Okay, well, Sasha Banks here in Roxanne Perez's corner. Roxanne Perez has a massive, massive opponent here tonight as she is taking on our SmackDown Divas champion. Imagine Roxanne Perez knocking off the champ. This is a huge match for Roxanne. Imagine she picks up a victory over our champ as she's going for punches, going for uppercuts, not phasing our champion at all and clubbing Roxanne down. On one knee though, still standing, punch to the gut. Roxanne still fighting. Huge punches, trying to knock down Chino. Throws another punch back to Roxanne. Wait a minute, China. Wow, the strength. I mean, Roxanne is pretty small, but God, still, the strength of China always amazes me. One of the strongest women competitors in all of the WWE. I'm still not sure what Sasha Banks is doing out here and how Roxanne got Sasha to come out and help her out. Uh... But Sasha is here. If you guys haven't seen, God, holy crap. Roxanne with the slam, dropping down China. Now, huge punches. Sasha Banks is in a rivalry with China. First matchup they had. China tried to show some respect. And uh, Sasha smacked her in the face. Which, uh, if you know China, she did not like that slap very often. Roxanne in control, though. What is going on? Now, Wow. And Regina gets right back up. Oh, my God. Dropping her on the uh, you-know-what. I'm not sure why the women's wrestlers have that, that move because they don't do it to each other. But uh, China has it. Then again, China was also fighting men like it was nothing. So military press yet again showing the strength as she drops Roxanne down. Going for an elbow drop. On the chest, and will that be it as she goes for the pin? Kick out at one. China now going for a punch, missing. And now throwing. Roxanne who reverses. And wait. Ooh. So that's why Sasha was here, and the ref didn't see it. The ref did not see it. Roxanne did gain control. That would have been a disqualification if the ref saw it rolling into the pin. Will that be it? One. Kick out at one. Roxanne trying her best to try to knock off the champ. What an amazing debut that would be if you were able to knock off the women's champion. But she's got a lot more before she takes China out. Spinning Hurricane Rana. And now grabbing her while she's getting a punch to the gut, though. China throwing her outside of the ring. Catching herself, though. And a reversal. Trying to grab China and dropping her down. Roxanne drops China. China now trying to make her way back up to her feet. Roxanne going for it. Look like the double knees or maybe a cross body and missing. China now picking her up. Kick to the gut. And what is she going for? Slamming Roxanne down. Going for the pin. Almost a count of two, but Roxanne again kicks out. Roxanne's got some fight in her. She may be small, but she is a fighter. As she reverses China. What is Roxanne thinking of doing? Roxanne with the DDT, the edge like DDT. And trying to move China away. Very smart. Knowing that China could possibly grab the rope for a rope break. 
Count of two and China kicks out. Roxanne trying to figure out what to do to knock off the champion. She rolls again with the Russian leg sweep. And wait a minute, China rolling outside of the ring. Roxanne already up on the top rope. What is she thinking? Cross body outside the ring. Roxanne putting her body on the line to take out China as the ref starts to count for these women to get back inside. And Roxanne again going up top. Calling for China to get up to her feet yet again. And going for those knees and this time connecting. Roxanne going for the pin now. One, two, and a kick out at two. She's getting closer and closer to knocking off our women's champ as Roxanne. Again, going for that Hurricane Rana taking down China. What is she going for now? Dragging the face into the mat. Now going on to the second rope. What is Roxanne thinking? Big splash on the back. China was trying to get up. Could not make it to her feet in time. One, two, and China again. Kicking out. Roxanne now going for a submission, trying to wear China down or possibly make her tap out. China, quick to get out, knee to the face of Roxanne and China now. Dragging Roxanne into the ropes. What is she going for here? Dropping her neck first on the ropes in China. As she catches a breather, taunting to the fans. Roxanne trying to make it back to her feet. China grabs her. Spinning neckbreaker takes her down. China now missing the, the, the punch there. As she throws Roxanne into the corner. Flipping over and hitting her hard in the corner. And that has got to be it. Two and a rope break. Roxanne just close enough to grab the rope. And that might have been it if that rope was not there. China. What is China doing? Wait a minute. Hold on. No way is she gonna... Is she going for the pedigree? The question is, will she connect off the top rope? The pedigree to Roxanne off the top rope. Not even going for a normal pedigree. Setting an example out of Roxanne and Sasha. As our women's champ picks up a victory. Roxanne did good though. You cannot knock that Roxanne did her thing. Almost taking out our women's champ. Even with Sasha Banks though. China picks up the victory. Letting Sasha know why she is our champion as we get on with our next matchup. And our next matchup of the night, Sheamus already inside the ring. Shinsuke making his way in and our million dollar champ, Gunther, attacking Shinsuke before he can get inside the ring. Ref getting him out, but damage has already been done. The question is, is Shinsuke still going to fight this matchup? Referee asking, no, Shinsuke said he still wants to fight. Shinsuke versus Sheamus next up. Let's get this going. Sheamus with a punch missing. Shinsuke trying to drag him. And what is Shinsuke going for? Just punching him in the back. Shinsuke is already not starting the match at 100%. He's calling for Sheamus to get up. And Sheamus with a clothesline. And now taunting Shinsuke back. Both men wanting a big victory. Shinsuke will be taking on Gunther at our next pay-per-view, which is, I did not announce this yet, our next pay-per-view is Hell in a Cell, and that will be next week. So we have one more Raw, one more SmackDown, and then we have our Hell in a Cell. So it should be an interesting last week to build up until Hell in a Cell. Then our next pay-per-view after Hell in a Cell is Money in the Bank, and if you're like me, man, Money in the Bank after the Royal Rumble is one of my favorite pay-per-views. I love Money in the Bank. Obviously, you know, Mania is number one, but... Uh, Money in the Bank is a very fun and exciting pay-per-view, so once we get finished up with Hell in a Cell, we will start trying to get our Money in the Bank participants. And Sheamus follows Shinsuke outside the ring, and another clothesline, but he misses. And Shinsuke tossing Sheamus into the barricade. Shoulder first. 
And Sheamus, though, coming back with big punches. Trying to take Shinsuke down, missing the next punch. And now Shinsuke throwing him, or trying to throw him inside of the ring. Sheamus reversing, though, but getting hit with a back suplex outside the ring. And now a German. Shinsuke with the power to pick up Sheamus. Sheamus is not a little guy. And now into the armbar outside the ring. Not very smart considering whether Sheamus taps or not. You will not get a victory. It has to be inside the ring. Sheamus though with the DDT outside the ring. And I believe he did bust Shinsuke open. Ref at a count of seven. Sheamus now throwing Shinsuke back inside the ring. Following behind. Sheamus again another DDT and it looks like Sh almost a Sheamus it looks like Shinsuke might be bleeding as he rolls outside gets back in Sheamus with the kitchen sink knee to the gut and now trying to pick Shinsuke up with reverses dropping him down and now waiting for Sheamus to get up punch to the face Shinsuke though throwing him over to the ropes and dropping him as he goes for the pin and Sheamus I believe kicking out at zero I don't know if the ref even got to the one count and I needed the gut taking down Sheamus almost said he was on one knee but no that definitely took him down stomp to the stomach and I needed the back huge huge knee to the back and another one now two knees to the back though Shinsuke Nakamura is he going up top he is going up top what is he going for though? That's the question. No, he get he hesitates and he gets off. He starts going for a combo instead in a backbreaker. Don't know how he got behind Sheamus as he goes for the pin off the backbreaker. Count of one as Sheamus kicks out. And I think Shinsuke was going for the Kinshasa. Sheamus though reversing. I believe he was going for the Kinshasa there. Sheamus now. Up and down. White noise taking Shinsuke down, going for the pin, but a kick out at two. Massive, massive move. I honestly thought that that was going to be it for Nakamura. Knee to the gut, and Sheamus now going for suplex. Almost a variant of a suplex. Another quick pin by Sheamus. Kick out at one. Sheamus now. What is he going for now? Kicks to the gut, though, by Nakamura. And Shinsuke taking him down. Trying to go to the corner, but he hesitates. And what is he going for? Clothesline. Second clothesline. And Sheamus gets super kicked now by Nakamura. Shinsuke. Massive moves. Sheamus with the reversal, though. But gets arm dragged again by Shinsuke, who goes for the quick pin off that arm drag. Kick out at one, though. No way you're winning off of that, Shinsuke. It's impossible. What is Shinsuke doing? Kinshasa! Out of nowhere, Kinshasa! To Sheamus, but a kick out. Kick out at two. Get to the gut again. And another knee to the back. Nakamura taunting. Fans on his side. Sheamus though with the reversal. Getting up to his feet. And dropping him down with the backbreaker. And Sheamus, wait a minute. Is Sheamus calling for the bro kick? Bro kick. And that is it. Sheamus with the victory here tonight. Nakamura kicks out. Shinsuke kicked out of the bro kick. The crowd chanting, we're not worthy. They're loving this SmackDown here tonight. And oh, vintage Sheamus punching the chest. Six, seven. Is he going for ten? He does. Dropping Shinsuke outside the ring. Patton Sheamus. Both men throwing whatever it is they have at each other. Sheamus now picking up Nakamura, but he reverses inverted DDT, dropping Sheamus down. 
And now I needed a face to Sheamus. And Shinsuke waiting for Sheamus to get up, going for the clothesline, missing. Shinsuke looked like he might have ducked it. But he didn't duck that one. Took way too long to get inside the ring. Sheamus now. Going for a choke slam. it looks like. Shinsuke reversing, though. What is he going for? A huge kick to the face to Sheamus. God. Picking Sheamus up. Sheamus reversing, though. And picking up Shinsuke with the slam. What is Sheamus thinking of doing now? Getting reversed by Shin. And Shinsuke dropping him down. And oh, wait a minute. Perfect position. And that's got to be it. Does Sheamus kick out of the second Kinshasa? I don't know. And no, he does not. Shinsuke picks over a massive victory over a former world champion. And Sheamus, amazing, amazing matchup. Even with Gunster attacking him before the match started, Shinsuke somehow finds a way to pick up the victory over Sheamus. And for our main event, who has Randy Orton picked to be his tag team partner? I'm ve Edge rated RKO. Hold on. Randy Orton and Edge teaming back together. Is this a one night thing or is this permanent? Wow, what a freaking shock. I don't know who I thought Randy Orton was picking tonight. But I don't know if anybody expected Edge. If you guys expected Edge, leave it in the comments below. Who did you guys think Randy was going to team up with as we get RVD coming out to the ring? And like earlier before, stated before, Rob Van Dam will be teaming up with the man that saved him from a brutal attack, Santos Escobar. No one knows why he saved him. He just said it felt like the right thing to do, so he came out and helped a, a possible new friend and partner. As we get this matchup going, this is a tornado tag. Rated RKO taking on RVD and Santos Escobar. RVD is... Wait, why is Edge going for the referee? Why is Edge... Why, why is Edge attacking the referee? Wait, 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 wait. What is going on? Randy Orton going after RVD. Santos going after Edge. Why did Edge go after the referee? I am very confused on why he did that. As Randy Orton's going right after RVD, the man who he attacked and almost took out last week, and he's already busted open. Randy Orton now going for the blows and just making it worse. RVD coming into this match already injured after his matchup with Randy, who again is, oh my God, look at that gash. Look at the gash as Edge is taken out. Santos needed the face to RVD. And Edge jumping over the top rope. You don't see Edge do that often. But when you're teaming with Randy, anything is possible. And the crowd just hating Randy and Edge. And now Randy just going for uppercut after uppercut. Now taking RVD down. And a, oh, I was going to say a big boot to the face. No, he's big boots to the gut. And a clothesline to RVD. As he goes for the pin. Santos getting inside, but it didn't matter. RVD does kick out at one. And now Santos raking the face as RVD tries to get some breathing room, but Edge right there to get him. A leg drop by Santos Escobar as he tosses our world heavyweight champ over and pulling him back with a huge knee. And now he's taunting. I don't know if he knows Randy got up yet. And Randy with the Luthez press dropping Santos Escobar down. Randy now picking Santos up. Looked like he was going for his patent DDT, but Escobar reverses. Randy getting up and reversing Escobar, grabbing him by the arm. And what is he going for, though? Hurting the arm, and now Randy 
with that inverted Boston Crab and look at the legs and the body contorting. Santos though with the reversal. Not letting Brandy tap him out and not staying in it too long. Oh, that looked beautiful. Double knees to the gut and Randy has to roll out of the ring and get some space as Edge takes down RVD. And now Edge going right after Santos. RVD now rolling out. And Randy now stalking his prey. Stalking his prey. Now trying to get RVD up as Edge goes after Santos. Going for the kick, he misses. RVD though getting up and dropping Randy down as he gets inside the ring. I think he's trying to go for Edge to help his partner out and he does. Randy though getting inside the ring and going right after RVD yet again with the uppercut. And Santos going after our champ, getting reversed. Both men reversing back and forth. Not sure what exactly is going on. There's so much going on. RVD now in control, dropping Randy down into the pin. But a kick out at one. Santos and RVD in control. Edge having to roll outside the ring. Rolling thunder to Randy Orton. And going for the pin. Edge though. Stopping the count. Rolling thunder to Randy Orton. And that could have been it. Edge taking down Santos. Was that execution? I believe that one's execution in the in the finisher. Or the finisher. The DDT's educator. I can never get it right. As Randy Orton trying to grab Escobar. He keeps getting pushed away. And Escobar. What is he going for? He's going for the Boston Crab of his own as RVD taking down Edge. Boston Crab on a Randy Orton. Champion in trouble, even though it doesn't matter, but the damage is still being dealt. And RVD taking it to, almost said taking it to Randy, taking it to Edge. Big boot to RVD though by Edge. And I think Santos is going to help his partner. But he gets taken right out, going into the pin, but RVD is there to stop it. RVD now taking down Edge, who's by himself. Randy, though, getting in the ring, going after Santos, who slaps him in the chest. Randy, though, taking out Escobar and dropping down RVD. Escobar. Randy Orton now picking him up, and I think he's going for that neck breaker, taking him down in a knee to the face by Edge, who's going for the pin. And a kick out by Escobar. And Edge going for a clothesline, taking down RVD. Both men staying in control. Just pounding and destroying. Pause, RVD. Escobar's got to get in and help. RVD is in massive, massive trouble getting inside the ring. But reversing Randy. Who reverses him and RKO. RKO out of nowhere. One, two, and a kick out by Escobar. Escobar kicked out of the RKO. Randy Orton. Going for a neck breaker and taking down Escobar. And now Randy might be trying to bust open Escobar himself. It's Randy going for the turnbuckle. Doesn't see RVD and RVD takes out the referee. RVD, Randy hid behind the referee. And he accidentally knocks him out and Randy with the power bomb. And an RKO, Escobar reverses. Dropping Randy down with the Hurricane Rana. And Edge did not see Escobar who drops him down with the Hurricane Rana. Stomping out Edge now. These men have been doing whatever they can. And oh, going, I, oh, I, can't, I have no idea what just happened. I almost thought I knew. Both men looking like they're going for some type of tag team maneuver. Escobar going back and forth with Randy. Reversal after reversal. RVD gets reversed. And Escobar dropping Randy down. Finisher. Ref is going for the turnbuckle. And oh, did not see the pin. 
Randy thought he was going to do a slick one. Referee there to stop it. And stomping the face. And oh, a super kick to the back of Edge's head. These men have just thrown everything they could. As Randy going for a massive suplex, taking down Escobar. Randy Orton now going for that patent DDT. Will it connect this time, though? That is the question. And Edge has got RVD outside the ring, but he's reversing. Escobar gets hit with that patent DDT. Randy Orton taking time to get up to his feet. And wait a minute. He's going for that punt. He's going to kick his head off. The punt connects. RVD doesn't see his partners in trouble. And R-rated RKO pick up the victory. The reunited rated RKO pick up the victory over RVD and Santos Escobar. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of SmackDown. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you guys are new. I turn on those notifications so you don't see what happens on Raw and SmackDown next week.